Hey everyone, it's Peek. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Pokemon Unite little guide video here today. We're going to be talking about the jump pad. Uh, this is like an interesting thing that has kind of been discovered recently. Uh, of course, the jump pad is something you see here that spawns right at five minutes. So halfway through the match, you have the opportunity to jump to a number of places on the map. Um, the two probably most commonly used ones obviously going to be these uh, tier two goals. Your goals that are closest to your base. Um, and when they're not broken, you know, this jump pad after five minutes can be a huge asset for you to uh, be able to defend your base. Um, it does, you know, take some wind up time for the jump pad to become active. And I'm, I'm playing this on Switch because I know a lot of people play on Switch and it's probably just easier to show. Uh, but the same thing can be done on mobile that we're going to be talking about today. So if you want to stay tuned, uh, I'm going to talk about basically how you can jump even faster using the jump pad. Before we move on, I want to thank Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. You can go ahead and download the game for yourself for free on your mobile device or tablet using the link below or in the video description. Disney emoji blitz is unlike any other match three game on the market i actually love that it's a disney game and there's a huge ip behind it because it means that there's constantly updates new emojis new additions and things you can earn and collect every single month each emoji has its own unique power up which really offers a lot of unique strategy that you can implement during gameplay as a huge fan of the Star Wars IP, my favorite emoji definitely has to be the new Anakin Skywalker one that's added this month. It basically creates this little mini game that allows you to steer through on like Anakin's pod racer, these different obstacles, and it just like increases your score like crazy. It's actually so satisfying when you get this unlocked. And I definitely gotta say, if you're a collector, this is the game for you. With a deep collection of different emojis from the Disney, Pixar, and Star Wars IPs, there are always new ones added every single week. There are a ton of different emojis with different categories ranging from silver to gold, rainbow exclusive being that ultimate rarity, as well as story and villain emojis. One of the coolest parts of this game is that the emojis that you collect in the game, you can actually then use in messages with your friends. So if you're a big Disney fan and you want to help support the channel, Go ahead and download the game on your mobile device or tablet using the link below or in the description and just screenshot yourself hitting level 10. Take that screenshot, tweet it at me, at PeakMP on Twitter, and I'll be selecting three of you to win $10 worth of Nintendo eShop card, iTunes gift card, Google Play, whatever you'd like so you guys can get some gems for Pokemon Unite. I will be choosing the winners randomly at the end of the month, so go ahead and get cracking on that, get to level 10, tweet it at me, and again, I just want to thank Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring this video. Okay, so essentially the tech is pretty simple in practice, but you definitely have to like get used to it. There is like a small like wind up animation to the super jump pad. So when you initially use it, you can't really use it until like this moment, right? It, it takes a little bit. Like even if I like move my cursor, I'm like spamming the ZR button. You can even see I'm like <laughs> spamming ZR and surf as I'm landing. Um, even if you spam it right away, there's still a bit of a delay as you're panning out the camera before you can actually jump. However, very, very weird interaction here is that if you move um, while you're on the super jump pad when it's winding out, you can actually jump instantly. It's super, super strange. Uh, in my opinion, it's a little bit wonky on switch just because i mean obviously i'm i haven't played on switch in literally months since the mobile version came out but you do have to quickly hit the down button on super jump and then move your thumb back to the movement stick here because what allows you to i guess for lack of a better word animation cancel the super jump pad animation uh is the movement itself like as long as you're like staying moving you can jump instantly i mean look how fast that is it's actually crazy uh the difference obviously side by side you have to pan all the way out on the camera if you wait um so this is you know with the tech and without the tech honestly a huge difference probably like i don't know i'd say like half a second um i'm gonna do a side by side comparison as i'm talking about this so you guys can see the difference but it really really is it really does make a massive difference. And you know, there's always those moments, especially at the end of the game, when, you know, speak of the devil, we got uh, Articuno, or I guess, I guess now it's uh, Zapdos, huh? The winter map is gone. Um, so we got Zapdos spawning, right? These final two minutes in the match, it can really matter if you're able to get back fast enough. I mean, imagine if you, you know, you're at the enemy's base here, right? 
you dunk your points off Zapdos, but it's actually a close match. So you really need to go back and you want to instantly go up here. And as you're moving on the jump pad, this allows you to jump so much faster. And let's say you didn't do the tech. You know, you're going to be like half a second late. So I'm actually going to loop these two clips side by side so you can see the exact comparison. You can honestly tell that it doesn't make a huge difference, but those little microseconds matter in a game like Pokemon Unite where it can be the difference between stopping the game winning goal, uh, which would then become the game losing goal or not, right? So it really, really does matter. Now, is this the most optimal thing for you to be practicing if you feel like you haven't quite mastered the game yet? Maybe not. But for those really looking to start implementing something like this into their gameplay, this is something that you can easily start doing uh, after a little bit of practice. And it's something that you should always, always, always be doing because it's just going to save more time. Like there's never a time when, I mean, <laughs> I guess there's maybe a time where you want to sit on jump pad and wait to interrupt an enemy coming in. But if you're trying to get there as soon as possible, there's never a time you shouldn't be doing this. And yeah, on mobile, it's the exact same technique. You just have to move using your thumb pad uh, while you're doing this in order to cancel the animation, make it go so much faster. This is something that every player looking to completely optimize and play at the highest level of their gameplay is going to have to do. You never know, uh, if you know, in a big tournament, it's going to make a difference, uh, of whether or not somebody actually used this technique. So, you know, when I first started this YouTube channel, my whole goal was to ensure that players would have a like good knowledge base of how to play the game different techniques like this actually improve the player base as a whole the more people know about them so i i didn't really see anything out there kind of showing how to do this so i wanted to make sure you guys were aware uh this is 100 percent something you should start implementing into your gameplay it's going to be super helpful to you uh and just allow you to you know you never know when you're gonna catch a wiggly tough a talon flame trying to back cap some points uh and you actually end up saving the game because you jumped you know about half a second faster these things, <laughs> so believe it or not, these things actually really do make a difference. So I'm I, I'm excited to see what you guys uh, do with this. Let me know in the comments section if this was helpful. I'd love to hear if you'd like more guides like this in the future. Obviously, techniques like this, you know, they're few and far between in Unite. But I think this is something that is just really cool. It's, it's something cool that you can do with the game. And it just obviously is something that allows you to optimize your gameplay. Like I said, when I first started this YouTube channel, that was my whole goal. I wanted this to be a game that grew, and uh, the best way to do that was providing information to the community. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. Let me know if it was. I'd uh, love to hear any additional feedback and just how you have found using this technique. Did you know about it? And um, did you, <laughs> were you able to figure it out? I do recommend going into the practice lobby, just uh, trying it out a little bit, optimizing that movement. It just takes a little bit of practice, but... Uh, I've never actually done it on Switch until this video, and as I was recording, it was the first time I showed you. Obviously, I've practiced a lot with it on uh, mobile, so I'm more used to that. But, uh, yeah, it was pre it's pretty easy to do on Switch. I'd actually argue it's easier to do on Switch. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did. Uh, and I hope you guys are doing very well. Follow my Twitch. Uh, I've been streaming there a lot recently. And follow me on Twitter. It's the best place for Unite News. Uh, I post memes there, like little short clips as well uh, from time to time. So, Twitter's a great place to follow me and uh, follow what's going on with Pokemon Unite. So, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.